Hello everybody, welcome back to Jersh Reacts. In today's video, we're gonna react to Death Blow and Battle Axe by Deftones. Uh, I wanted to try to show some appreciation for the Deftones fans out there subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to get to as many of the mostly requested tracks as I can. And even if I stop doing Deftones now, they have a new album coming out later, and I may still surprise you with another track or two in the future. Just if, just because I didn't get to it at this time does not mean I'm not going to react to more uh, if I happen to miss anything. Um, if you like what you see on this channel, make sure you do subscribe. It helps out a lot. I also have links in the description of this video where I talk about how you can support me further. Um, that support, um, I don't ever want you to feel obligated, but it is always appreciated. Um, so I have the song for Death Blow and the lyrics for Death Blow pulled up. And then after we get done with this reaction, um, I'll probably... Uh, I don't know, edit out a quick little switcheroo to get to the other song. Um, but yeah, as far as Death Blow, get the lyrics ready, got the song ready. Let's go. I like the guitar melody. I'm getting very, I'm getting some change vibes. Um, I don't know if it's the strumming or the melody on the guitar, but um, in a good way, it changes a, an amazing song. Um, so yeah, as soon as you came in, all the beast went away. I don't know if it's beast or best. I think beast, because they sometimes use weird words. They notice that you're warm. Wait till you leave, then come back for more. The ropes are to keep us all awake and I should have known. I mean, Death Blow is like that last final hit that kills something, so I don't know um, if this person coming into to his life was like the death blow to the other people in his life that needed to get out in the first place because um, they noticed you're warm, wait till you leave, then come back for more. I feel like he's he's like surrounded by bad people, like monsters beasts all the beasts went away um because this person came into his life so it's not death blow in the fact that like he died or that he killed somebody this warm person coming into his life is the death blow to all these beasts that were surrounding him whether they were people or thoughts or you know just personal demons
feel like I don't know. I, I guess every band tries to do this, but not every band tries to succeed or succeeds at trying. But I feel like Deftones wants every song to be epic, like their brand of epic. That Deftone sound, that Chino scream, that grimy guitar, that weird catchy melody that at first doesn't seem to go with the guitar, but then it does when you get used to it. Um, I feel like they want every song to be like that they don't it's not like phoning it in band i mean bands that i grew up with um which i kind of talked about on a live stream and i might again in the future i definitely felt like that even in my favorite bands growing up there were like filler tracks like okay and then this will do this track and then people will skip over that and not really listen to that very much but i'm just like i'm hearing a lot of tracks from a lot of albums from Deftones, and it's like every single one tries to like reach this other place, I feel like. Um, as far as the lyrics go, I feel the same way so far. As soon as you came in, the agony went away. Notice what you wore, everything everything we spoke and more. Um, it only takes one break of your pose to save our place home with you still the same song as soon as you came in is when i believe we both crashed course so yeah still my same original thoughts from the first verse of this person coming into his life scaring the beasts away they are the death blow to the beasts that were in his life building up. Yeah. It's still the same song. It's still the same song. It makes me feel like <clears throat> maybe he's in this cycle with this person where he gets caught up in his demons. He gets caught up in his bad behavior. He gets caught up in the wrong crowd time and time again. And the same person with their warmth scares away the beasts. And it's, you know, it's still the same old song, you know, like it, it they don't, he can't ever seem to fix himself and they can't ever seem to give up on them. So it, on him so it's like the cycle that continues to perpetuate so that was death blow so i'm gonna really quick swap out for battle axe and i'll be right back
Just like that. We got battle axe ready. Songs ready. Lyrics ready. Let's go. So we're over two minutes into this and there's been like two sentences that is just like that is classic deftones which is very you know minimalist lyrics sung out in crazy melodies you have no idea what he's gonna do <laughs> um that opening guitar riff by the way it sounded <clears throat> like the uh the the open G string and the uh, F sharp on uh, the D string, that back and forth between those two strings is like a really common uh, riff that gets used a lot. It kind of sounded like Metallica's Fade to Black. It kind of sounded like uh, a Def Leppard song that kind of uses it in the same opening. Um, I just, I personally, just as a musician and a lover of music, I like I like that when it's not when it's its own song, but you catch like a flavor or a taste of another song. It's like it's almost like you can see two musicians passing each other in the night and just like tipping their hat to each other as they find each other at this spot on the fretboard. You know what I mean? Um, so especially when they have their own sounds and they do their own things with it, like Deftones does. Um, and then it went in. I didn't. Every time I think they can't get grimier and lower with the freaking drop D down a step, down two steps, like they go. This is like I'm surprised the strings are on the guitar in this song. <laughs> um, immediately when I hear that grime and I see and I that the song is called Battle Axe, I get this imagery of like norse mythology like in a tavern where everyone's wearing thick fur coats and there's like vikings around and like a literal battle axe is going to be needed at any moment it's almost like uh yeah like it like a bar like like in that scene from raiders of the lost ark where they're like in that you know they're in that tavern out from the cold in the winter it's like that but with vikings that's that's what i see I want to sleep if you are awake, still making me believe that you aren't at all crazy. If you don't believe, I think you should. You make me so proud. Still, you love to think you've always been this way, but you're all wrong. It seems like with Battle Axe, 
I want to sleep if you're awake, making me believe you aren't crazy. If you don't believe, I think you should. And then you make me so proud, this positive out of nowhere. Uh, still, you love to think you've always been this way, but you're all wrong. It's almost like he's dealing with somebody with like a personality disorder who's hot and cold. I want to sleep if you're awake, like they're like in opposites of each other, whether it's the person he's with is it is at opposite odds with themselves because of a personality situation or if they're at odds with each other um because for some reason it's like this this dark ominous i don't believe you and then you make me so proud exclamation point it just kind of like is at odds with how the person seems to be feeling um if you only sleep when you've lost because i still believe when you've lost cause i still believe that the cause will always me I, that feels wrong i'm gonna rewind and keep going though Grimy. The other th reason that I get that imagery of this like battle in a Nordic bar amongst the snow and Vikings is because of the music. Like that low, deep, I can just like see it in a movie scene. These eyes lock in, in the tavern and that boom, that deep, way deep guitar kicks in and you're like, shit's about to get real. And yes, as far as the, the more lyrics that we see, um, yeah. If you don't believe, I think you should. You make me so proud. I'd love to think you will someday feel the same, and you love to think it'll always uh, be this way. It looks like this is what he's saying right now. says at the end of the song you're insane so there's definitely like a personality conflict happening either within one person or between two people and they're at odds with each other and they need that battle axe in the nordic tavern um yeah man it's so cool and so fun to listen to deftones um 
you know, like I said, even as I'm wrapping up my, you know, I mean, I've almost listened to more Deftones. This is probably the most I've ever listened to one band in my entire life. Like, even my favorite bands growing up had, like, three or four CDs. This is, like, decades worth of albums that I'm going through here. So it's been really incredible. Uh, yeah. So I like both of these songs. Total Shocker. Um, as I've mentioned before in the past, I'm not much for pandering. I know a lot of reaction channels do that. I can see I can see it in I can see pandering in thumbnails, the way that they try to clickbait their titles and try to get everybody to click on their reactions, which nothing against them. We all got to do what we got to do because we're trying to be content creators and we want people to watch our videos. Uh, I'm saying for me, speaking for me, um, you know, I'm going to be honest if I don't like something. Like I've been pretty upfront about the older stuff not really landing with me and engine number nine and in particular kind of being a miss for me. Um, but I still think that I can be respectful and positive and still love a lot of other stuff about Deftones and other bands that I react to. But I um, just want to keep it honest for you. So yeah, I like these songs a lot. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. Comment down below. Let me know what you think these songs are about. And if you got any imagery uh, from Death Blow or Battle Axe uh, that you'd like to share. Also, any other recommendations for me to react to besides Deftones. Um, and don't forget, in the links of this video, there are uh, there's information that you can look at to support my channel further besides subscribing. Uh, that support is... Don't ever feel obligated, but it is always appreciated, like I said. So, uh, And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.